Hey guys, just come close, come close, come close and see. Come close to your phone, to your laptop, whatever you're watching this on. Ah, ah, see her hair, Jesus Christ. This is Eon, Eon hair, guys. This is their which one? human braiding hair. And this is loose waves. This is loose wave. Oh my God, don't you just like it? Oh, I love it. And it can hardly go in one pack. As in, the whole thing is so beautiful. Her hair is beautiful and I love it. See the ends, oh my God, see how it looks. Guys, bring out your money. Come and buy hair. Come and buy hair and look luxurious. Very beautiful. And today I'll be telling you how to fix this hair and what different methods to use. Oh my God. I'm just chilling here, going crazy over this hair. It's so beautiful. Don't you like it? And you'll be seeing a few other ways to pack this hair up and carry it in one. Jesus Christ. She's so excited. The hair's so nice. And good looking. Guys, this hair is so super full and it's butt length. What best way to carry your hair? I even think it's past her body bit. So man, and it's really small. And the braids actually get to the middle of her back. And then I added the extension to for it to end the braids. If you understand what I mean, don't worry, you'll see. So now you're welcome to my video. You're so welcome. If you already watch me, you're welcome. If you're a new person on my page, you're also welcome. Come take a front seat and sit down and enjoy. So this is Eon hair, the best in the back hair. And <laughs> I'm just saying. And here I'm just unboxing it. I'm bringing out the packs after my client has already seated. I agreed she wanted to do the hairstyle. And um, I'm opening the whole pack. The pink thing I just put in my hair is hair clip. It came in the pack and now I've opened the hair. They came in four packs and they are very... Oh, my client just said hi. Hi. And then um, they are very, very, very full. Trust me. You'll come with me the whole ride and I'll show you where and when they finish each of the packs. Although, let me not say anything yet. Let's just start and see what goes on. Normally, I use shine and jam. And it is my go-to and I've realized that it's the best. It doesn't leave anything on the scars in like white stuff. It doesn't leave it. It melts in and it's just there. And actually, I don't add too much. I don't know what will happen if you add too much. Because I just put it on the scalp. When I pat the hair, I just put it on the scalp and it's good to go. It just makes the part shine. It doesn't help me braid or do anything else. It will just put a shine to the scalp. At the end, don't worry. you see all the shine. Don't worry. Just keep watching and see how I do this hair. So I've patted the first line. And I do this everywhere, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere, even TikTok and all the other apps I'm on. I always show the first part and it gives me millions of views, trust. So I would always show this in my videos on YouTube. So I've parted, I'm trying to clear the tables because I'm using two tables today. I just want to show off the hair. So I'm cleaning up the table so that unnecessary things are not on the table. I've taken off every other thing that is not necessary and I just put the control. We need the control. We need some music, some nice beats so that this hairstyle can go cool and fine. So I started braiding and on each braid, the braid is actually not less i'm doing not less i'm the goddess of not less in brampton ontario trust and um i hardly ever probably every two three months or four months off that's when one client will come to me i'm like no 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 i want box braids and i'll be like really i'll try to convince them to do something to do not less but if they don't agree i'm like okay let me do what you came for the look is also very good but you know what i mean if you know if you've done not less you understand me not less is way easier to carry it's way easier from day one up until the last day you can tie it up you can do whatever you want to do so let's get back to this video after we've spoken about not less and box braids and all that i'll do another video on that and comparing them i would but here i'm adding about six or seven um coily hair to the braid so i'm braiding the whole hair out and i've already said it there is mid back i now use although i thought i could use waist length and then add the extension but it would have been way too long because the eon hair is 20 inches so considering that it will get a bit of length and also i'm putting the eon hair as the last piece the hair would end with a curl you know how they do bora bora braids that you don't see the braid at the end it's only the curls that's what this hairstyle is about that's what i was able to achieve with eon and it's amazing trust the process just keep watching and here i'm almost done with the first braid and it's looking so cute with that clip on the braid i put it to hold the hair back so that the coily hair is not interfering with me braiding so that's what the clip is doing but sometimes i would put the hair in in such a way that it would just go adjacent to the braid so that i can keep braiding without it disturbing me so i'm almost done with this one and i'll hold it up and show you how many clips i had put in how many coily pieces i had put in i put in about six coily pieces and in the next line line i'll be putting seven on this line she's about to part i'll put seven and on the next line i would add to eight nine ten eleven twelve just like that trust see the hair see the one i've done in front so going forward i'll be adding more 
coily pieces as I'm going upwards on her hair because the base doesn't need to be that full actually because the top would be on top of it and it will cover it but the, the fuller the better it depends on how many hair your client brings if your client brings four packs like her or more you can put as many as under and on top but I always feel like there's no need putting a lot of coily pieces under because it will be covered anyway it won't show so you should concentrate on putting a lot more on top where it would show if you understand what I'm saying. So we keep braiding and I'm braiding the next line. I'm doing the front while my girl is doing the back and we are making progress. Not so much because uh, Bora Bora braids is different in a way that it's slower. You can't be that fast because you have to keep stopping to add the extension in. And a lot of the times, actually wait to look for a clip to hold it back. Now it stayed, but sometimes it, it doesn't stay if I put it up. And I'll get to a level where I can't put it up anymore. I have to use a clip to hold it or something else or somehow, somehow. So that's why Bora Bora braids is, should be a bit expensive and um you can't be that fast it's not it's not like boho braids it's not like it's not like Marcus braids at all you can see how short the braids are they actually made back length i had explained this one but i don't know if you guys got it i'm almost finishing it right there and um it's made back length the extension is synthetic while the human hair is while the coily hair is human and hold on let me explain that again i think some people mistake mid back for waist length mid back means where your bra is where the bra strap passes that's mid back that's the length of the braid that i'm holding on to now by the time i'm done with it it will get to the middle of her back and then i would add the piece of eon hair which is a human hair to the braid and then it extends it down to her butt because it's 20 inches giving it the Bora Bora look at the end of the day. The only difference with this style and Bora Bora is the fact that I'm using synthetic hair for the braid. All of the coily pieces, the eon hair, are human hair, which also goes to the ends that makes it really coily and fluff up and it's very, very nice. Allow me to take a minute to show off this hairstyle see how beautiful it's looking i've done three lines on top four lines at the back and then four lines on the other side so it's coming to play now let me show you from the other side and this is what you oh it's two lines on the other side so this is it and we'll soon finish a pack a pack of hair will soon be finished now but then I hope you still remember that I said you use fewer packs at the base and put more on top. So don't think this is just one pack and then uh, the top will be like this. It will get way fuller as we go. And um, the amount of braids I'll be adding will get more. So it will get fuller. So I think I'll do two, one more line on top and she'll start the fourth line at the back and then the extension would finish, the ear and hair would finish. Can you see how many she added on that piece? She's now adding the last one, which is the end. So I think we're about to finish the first pack now. And as I've already said, we started using the first pack and we're mising it because we added a lot more. We added fewer, fewer pieces at the base so that we can save the most pieces for the top, which we're about to do. You can see it's about half left, half, mm, okay, half left. The whole head i hope you know that the top of the head is the real place is really where the extension goes in so i'm opening another pack now since one pack has actually finished it ended up doing half of her head then the second pack is being opened now and we are going to go down and go deep into it and put a lot more on her head and guys did i even tell you that this eon hair is so super soft it's so super soft it's the best thing i've used for goddess on or boho braid so far it's so soft that it keeps in place it holds itself and this lady she came to me less than two weeks ago about 10 days and the hair still holds in place her hair still looks as amazing as it was the first day and that's a really nice thing for human hair to do so now we have started the second bundle of human hair and um, we are adding a lot more this time and we are patting them and we are, she's giving me a lot more pieces in one do you understand what i'm saying each one that i'm adding in is a lot more now than the first one i was adding in at the back and actually i gave her gel to put on her hand so that she rubs the hair in gel so that it's all collective because for human hair it's always like that it's always a problem for all human hair that i have used Eon hair was better, but uh, human hair would normally mess itself up if you don't give them gel. You have to rub gel on the ends of it, like close to where the weft would be if you had a weft. And then she would have to put some and give us and then we can take it from her. Which means in essence she was at work while we were at work because she kept being busy. You can see in her hand she has a pack of hair she kept giving to us as we were going. It helps the speed of the hair. Please, guys, would you give your braid a piece or would you tell her to sort it out herself? 
so see her hair very beautiful and i think we're done with another part you see you see oh my we're done with another part and it's really the top of the hair that is left and um, we're just going to go in super fast, super big, so that we can finish it. I'm opening another pack. That's the third pack. And um, let's see how it goes. In the beginning of the video, I had promised telling you two styles of braiding boa braids. No, no, no. Of braiding boho braids. And the two different styles are, the first one is the one I'm doing now, where the curly ends will end the braids. And then the second one is where the synthetic extension would be curled to imitate the braids. It depends on how many braids the person who's the, the client brings to you. That's how you would know which one you're doing. With this style, I had four bundles to use. So I did everything I could to finish them. But sometimes, some clients bring just one bundle. And you know that if you have to end the braid with the bundle of hair they bring, the human hair, there's no going forward. There's no way to be enough. So you would have to roll up the ends of the coily extension and make them long enough whichever style i turn up doing i i kill it as in it looks amazing it has to always look good the beauty of your client should be your highest priority and the growth of their hair should also be a priority that's why i'm putting my growth oil on her hair and the mist so she looks amazing and i have put the the mousse already and then um, there's one and less than half pack left you see eon hair is doing very well very very well actually and here I'm just going to trim, then do everything else. There's not braiding. I'm tired. I'm sweeping the floor now. And I'm getting ready to leave. But I can't go home without showing you the, how lovely this hair looks. Ooh, very beautiful. You can pack it up. You can pack it down. You can pack it up. You can leave it down. You could also do half up, half down. You'll see how to do that later. Pretty much we're done with the hair. I'm just showing it off because I don't let my clients leave until I take a video of their hair, playing with their hair, just touching it, packing it up, putting it down, rubbing it, doing whatever for a few minutes. So let me keep doing that. While you watch the luxury of the hair, you see how soft it looks and it can go into a bun easy you can go into a bun and it's not too much but when it's released and it's put down it's all so full don't you like don't you like oh nice this is beautiful she's so happy she's glad and her hair turned out nice see this is beautiful by the way this is eon hair super drawn loose wave and the star she did is small but length braids. Very beautiful, very demure. <laughs> so I'll see you in my next video. Take care, loves. Bye.